welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar 2 as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham satchidanandam vandeham yokhilan jagat चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम योखिलन जगत चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी स्टडीड द थियरी ऑफ karaka we studied the sutras which define which describe each karaka stated in the ashtadhyayi there are six karakas and there are seven vibhaktis which are stated in the ashtadhyayi we also concluded by saying that it is these karakas which are the pratyayarthas which act as the core meaning element as far as the sentence meaning is concerned because it is these meanings which link the meanings of different prakritis and their meanings prakritis and prakrityarthas and therefore it is on the basis of this karaka theory that we proceed in understanding the theory of compound formation we stated earlier that the theory of compound formation can be generally called as samartha theory in this lecture let us try to understand what is samartha now there are two meanings of samartha available to us straight away the first one is capable of and second one is having the same meaning samaha arthaha capable of and having the same meaning so when we have the first meaning namely capable of what we mean is that the capable of expressing the interconnected meanings a word unit which is capable of expressing the interconnected meanings so a pratipadika by itself is not samartha from the point of view of one position as it cannot express the interconnected meanings on its own in other words without the pratyaya getting added to it it has to be a pada that is a subantha and in other cases it has to be a tingantha which is then capable of expressing the interconnected meanings so samartha refers to capable of expressing the interconnected meanings for example pitambarah kashim gachati pitambar is an example of a bahuvrihi compound this means hari goes to kashi in this sentence and the sentence meaning pitambara 
is linked with the action of going denoted by the verbal root gama which is part of gachati as doer of the action of going agent or kartru kashi is linked with the action of going denoted by the verbal root gama which is also part of gachati as destination or object or karman so pitambara and gama as well as kashi and gama are interrelated interlinked semantically but as we have already seen they are not eligible to be compounded because they both pitambara and gama as well as kashi and gama both are not ending in supratyayas pitambara ends in supratyaya but gam ends in ting pratyaya kashi ends in supratyaya but gam ends in ting pratyaya and we have already seen that a compound in sanskrit is possible only between two subantas and not between a subanta and a tinganta the only two subantas in this sentence pitambara pitambara and kashim which have pratipadikas pitambara and kashi can be said to be ending in subs but they are not interlinked they are not samartha and therefore they are not eligible to be compounded similarly we have pitambaraha kashim rathena gachati hari goes to kashi by a chariot along with pitambara and kashi here ratha is linked with the action of going denoted by the verbal root gama as an instrument or karana but like pitambara and kashi ratha also cannot be compounded with gama because ratha and gama they both are not ending in sups similarly pitambara kashi and ratha these are the pratipadikas which are ending in sups but they are not interlinked therefore they are not samarthas and are not eligible to be compounded now we have another sentence with some additional elements pitambara kashim rathena pujanay prayagat kartika mase gachati meaning hari goes to kashi by a chariot in the month of kartika from prayag for worship now along with pitambar kashi and rath as we have seen before pujan prayag and kartika mas they are linked with the action of going denoted by the a verbal root gama as sampradana apadana and adhikarana respectively pujana is linked with the action of going as sampradana and therefore it has got chaturthi vibhakti pujanaya prayaga is linked with the action of going as apadana and it has got panchami vibhakti prayagat similarly kartika masa is linked with the action of going as adhikarana and it has got saptami vibhakti kartika masa but like ram kashi and ratha pujana prayag and kartika masa each cannot be compounded with gama 
because they are not ending in sups pujana prayaga and kartika masa they are ending in sups but gam does not end in sup it ends in ting pratyaya like pitambara kashi and ratha pujana prayaga and kartika masa are ending in sups but they are not interlinked they are not samartha and therefore are not eligible to be compounded to take a recap we have a complete sentence over here which is pitambaraha kashim rathena pujanaya prayagat kartika mase gachati and the meaning is hari goes to kashi by a chariot in the month of kartika from prayaga for worship now here we have the padas also demarcated from each other by using the square brackets there are two main square brackets indicating that this is a sentence having other square brackets inside so pitambaraha plus kashim plus rathena plus pujanaya plus prayaga plus kartika mase plus gachati this is what is this sentence now the same sentence can be rewritten with the help of the prakriti pratyaya format so pitambaraha can be rewritten as pitambara plus su kashim can be rewritten as kashi plus am rathena can be rewritten as ratha plus ta pujanaya can be rewritten as pujana plus nge prayaga can be rewritten as prayaga plus ngasi kartika mase can be rewritten as kartika mase plus ngi and finally gachati can be rewritten as gama plus ti all these elements su am ta ngi ngasi ngi and ti they are part of paninian grammar they are in fact the pratyayas they are in fact the vibhakti pratyayas where su am ta ngi ngasi and ngi these are the sup pratyayas and ti is a ting pratyaya obviously these sup pratyayas do express the karakas the interrelation between the pratipadika arthas we have some observations to make over here one sup and ting even though are interlinked are not compounded the meanings of the nominal roots playing different roles in the accomplishment of the action denoted by the verbal root are linked to the meaning of the verbal root but are not compounded when the verbal root ends in a thing this is very important as we have observed that the meanings of the nominal roots which play different roles in the accomplishment of the action denoted by the verbal root for example pitambara is playing the role of karta kashi is playing the role of karma ratha is playing the role of karana pujana is playing the role of sampradana prayaga is playing the role of apadana and kartika masa is playing the role of adhikarana in the accomplishment of the action of going denoted by the verbal root so these are different roles in the accomplishment of the action denoted by the verbal root indicated by the respective vibhaktis now these meanings are linked to the meaning of the verbal root 
but are not compounded when the verbal root ends in a thing. The second observation is that the meanings of the nominal roots playing different roles in the accomplishment of the action denoted by the verbal root which are linked to the meaning of the verbal root are not interlinked with each other. I repeat, the meanings of the nominal roots Pitambaraha, Kashim, Rathena, Ujanaya, Prayagat, Kartikamase. The meanings of these padas and the nominal roots inside, which play different roles in the accomplishment of the action denoted by the verbal roots, which are linked to the meaning of the verbal roots, are also not interlinked with each other and hence are not samartha and hence are not eligible for compounding. These are two crucial observations for us to make. So, in conclusion, we can say that the Karaka system is at the base of the process of compounding only as a very general basic background. In other words, Karaka system acts as the skeleton structure of the sentence. Now this sentence can stand on its own without the compounds. But it is this same structure which also holds the load of the compounds. Compounds are fitted into this basic sentence structure prepared by this Karaka theory. These are the texts referred to. Thank you very much.